This is James Hodder for Alcohol TV in association with Matt Finns, Jim Marbella. I'm in Liverpool today with with me. I've got Ian Baby Butch. What's happening, Ian? You all right? Yeah, not bad, James. Yourself? I'm very well. I'm very well. Also, Mini Butch. I was going to say Big Butch. Almost as big as his dad. How are we doing, lad? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations on a good victory for yourself. A little bit disappointing in the fact that you didn't get to face Luke Wilton for the British title, but it's good to get out and keep yourself busy nevertheless. Yeah, James, when the fight was cancelled, then um, we didn't think we were going to go on it. It's such short notice, because um, it was cancelled Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. So when we found out that the fight was cancelled, we didn't really think we were going to get a chance to box. So um, fair play again, as I say to Brett Fiddle for stepping at two days' notice and taking the fight over yeah, the yeah. sixth round. So. Yeah. I mean, we've seen a lot of pull-outs not, not in all shows across the board recently. It's a, it must be a bit frustrating for fighters when the fights that you're, you're, you're expected to have don't go ahead. Yeah, well, as I say, I, I was scheduled for 12 rings, so we trained for 12 rings in camp. Um, busy rings, boxing rings, being smart, and, and then your, your, your rest rings and stuff like that. So today, six rings, you kind of need to be switched on for six because if you lost two rings, you're chasing the next four rings. So it was a bit of a, an up and down whether we were going to take the fight or not, but... We trained for 10 weeks, so we thought put, putting the 10 weeks to waste yeah. was no good, so we took the six rounder and it keeps me active. Yeah. And after the silly defeat in December, it gets me back to winning ways for um, getting out of the British title fight, gets the ring rust off, and as I say, it gives me a little bit of confidence for going back out of the, the big one. I mean, I know how frustrating December was for you because you was on the brink, on the cusp of looking for that British title. That defeat set you back a little bit. With, with the belt being vacant, what, what happens now? Will the Luke Wilton fight be rescheduled? Do you know anything about that? Yeah, well, I, I'm in the dark as most people will be, but as the belt's vacant. The board ordered me versus Luke Wilton because Luke Wilton was pushing for a, a crack at the belt as well when being in the, the position and waiting as long as what I did. But when pulling out the way he's pulled out and and stuff like that after pushing so hard to get the shot. I don't know what's going to happen next because you've got Lewis Norman, the English champion, who's champion the door for a, a crack at the British title as well. So I, I know I'm I'm going to be boxing for it regardless if it's Luke Walton or Lewis Norman, and I'm happy to, to fight both of them. And I, I see myself winning the title against either one of them. So whatever the, the board put in front of me or Frank and the team or my manager Daniel gets sorted for me, then I'm more than happy to box any one of them. I mean, we saw Derry Matthews become the first world champion from the MGM. How much of an inspiration is that for you? Obviously, you've been around him a lot. You spent time in the camp. Yeah, well, Derry's a he's a cracking fella, and he's one of the boxers, most boxers that are boxing at the minute that deserve a, a fair crack at world title. He's paid his dues to the sport, and he deserves it now. So, mm. finally, after a long wait, and then all the pullouts and that, he finally gets his hand one close step for, full to the the full world title, so I, I hope Derry gets uh, the, the shot he deserves because he's trained, he's been away from his family and kids and all that for the past 12 to 14 weeks, spending time closed away, working hard to get his, his, his long life dream, so yeah. I hope I wish him all the best and I hope he gets it sooner rather than later. You know yourself, you go, you spend a lot of time away from your families in camp, the three or four fights, maybe a year is, is kind of what keeps you ticking over and, and looking forward to, so to see Derry reach his dreams and aspirations in front of his own city is a great thing. Right yeah, through. yeah, well, as I say, Derry, at the, he's at the peak of the, the sport right minute, so all the yeah. little hats in the gym and people that are around him will be bouncing off him, want to do what he's doing and stuff like that, so it's an aim and it's a, a goal for every, every other boxer that's around him and training and participating in his camp to, to push forward and get what he's doing. Mm -hmm. All right, well, listen, congratulations on a great win. We look forward to seeing some further announcements regarding the British title and when it's going to be scheduled. Um, but keep doing your thing, as I said, we look forward to seeing you out in action again real soon. Yeah, hopefully it's sorted sooner rather than later. I'll be ready to go back into camp as soon as I get the date and, and uh, push forward to get my hands in the, the belt finally and uh, I can say I'm British champion eventually. <laughs> Me above a pal. Thanks, James. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>